The problem with drawing koala bears is that they're not bears. And it's so easy to say it because that's just kind of <laughs> what we've got used to saying. But they're not bears. They're marsupials. They're actually kind of related to wombats and kangaroos and all those kinds of things. So this is the tree that um, we're going to have <laughs> this koala, koala, not a bear, sitting on. And I do know that some people get well, quite upset if you use that B word. Um, in terms of koalas <laughs> so I'm not <laughs> except I did just to wind you up so um, this is going to be the the head and we're going to want a great big nose like that and look I have been practicing here and trying to work this out and one thing I'd never noticed before about koalas is that they have slit eyes like cats vertical slits and in the end, I th I'm going to go for this really simple sort of cartoon style because the more I tried to do them, the more I wasn't happy with them. Um, so, yeah, let's do this nice, simple cartoon style. And we're going to want to kind of have the hand reaching across here. And this is something else I hadn't known about them before as well. Let's move a bit back there. They have like two thumbs. So the first the thumb and the first finger kind of become thumbs. And then they uh, <laughs> the other three fingers, the other side round. They're really adapted to um, <laughs> climbing trees. So this arm will be coming up here and we'll have one, two, three, and we'll probably see some around there as well. And then we're gonna want to see um, these sort of the feet down here. And they're going to sort of go around there and so that we'll have the <laughs> sort of body there. And we'll have another foot here coming around kind of like that. So I'm going to see a little bit of that hand there. So I had a lot of difficulty with this. Um, and the, the thing is to here, we're going to do a sort of bit of a curve on the top and then flick around with horns. And it's easy to think that koalas have kind of round ears, but they kind of don't. <laughs> and so I'm going to get flicked down there as well and flick down. And then and then we're just going to sort of go around that curve like that. And then we want to sort of come up into the inside and do the inside of the ear as well. And I think insides of fluffy ears are really difficult things. Insides of ears altogether are difficult things to draw. Um, and then we want a slightly squarish sort of face, sort of coming down like that. And let's do this nose. So we're gonna come all the way down and then up, all the way down and up. And then we want like a sort of a cow horn like a little chopper bicycle handles and I had such problem with the eyes and in the end I found the easiest thing is just to do little lines and just just do the kind of the irises and forget about the rest um, I'm gonna add a bit more into there I think and we don't want to make it kind of ha too hairy <laughs> I mean, they, they're furry, but we don't want it to be too kind of hairy because they're sort of rough coated, not <laughs> not smooth, but not hairy. Um, and then we want to kind of tree bark kind of finish there like that. And then those sort of claws coming around there. And big claws, big sharp claws. And we have two coming on the other side there like that. I'll have the tree carrying on up there. So we probably won't have the odd little branch coming out, don't we? Um, I'm going to do the feet first. So they'll be coming sort of down that way. And then we want these toes with big claws. And again, we want these toes. So then we can kind of draw the rest of the tree into there and a claw and a claw and a claw 
So then we can bring that up to there, and then this can go up there, and then we can bring that around there. <laughs> and I try to think that will be sort of about there, and we'll sort of come around like that. And then we need the tree in there as well. I mustn't forget that. Okay, when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase those pencil lines now the thing about doing it this way this sort of pen and ink thing is that you kind of you make all your mistakes in pencil so don't press too hard um, with your pencil because then it's really difficult to erase later and i'm going to do some sort of eucalyptus -y bark kind of marks here which will also help to put some shadow underneath the ears and and in sort of certain places where you want it to be a bit darker really and we'll have some in there and under there yeah I think that will do now to make this sort of cute we're going to put this little kind of line underneath here it's really interesting to see how other people uh, do cartoony kind of things of um, koalas Nobody draws them around this part, sort of the mouth and the chin, how they actually are. <laughs> because it is really difficult. I don't think it's so much difficult as, as kind of unlikely. So, <laughs> so when you kind of look at it, think that, that just doesn't look right. Because it doesn't sort of meet up with your expectations of what a koala should look like. And sometimes when you come to draw something... It, it, you just look at it and think that just doesn't look right but it is right it's your expectation of what it should look like is this that's wrong so i'm going to paint this in watercolor and uh, i have the perfect color for um i have the perfect color for a koala and it's called neutral tint and my frequent viewers will know how much i love using it uh, but in case you don't have neutral tint in fact you probably don't have neutral tint. it's so it's a winsor and newton color uh, but what you can do is get something very, very similar. You get a nice grey. So if you get uh, ultramarine blue, French ultramarine, and try, these are the colours I know, so you can try your blues. Uh, get a blue and then get a really dark brown like um, Van Dyke brown or burnt umber like this and just kind of add them together. Now that's gone a bit too brown, so I have to add a bit more blue and just kind of play with them. And eventually you will get a kind of a bluey grey. Um, sounds like a cause song, doesn't it? Okay, and um, that's a bit too dark, so I'm just going to squeeze slightly. So I'm using a Pentel Aquash uh, water brush. So, and I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> I really should be <laughs> by now. Um, and I'm just going to go around the eyes there as well. So I'm going to leave a little bit of white around the eyes. And so if it's too dark, um, then just squeeze a little, clean the brush, squeeze, clean the brush. And now I'm basically painting with clean water and, and just sort of pushing that gray around. And then we'll do the same under here. And I'm gonna leave that white underneath there so you can a little pale colored chest. And again, that's just getting a little bit too dark, I think so. I'm adding a bit more um, water to it and we'll um, just carry on down like that. Oh, that's gone quite dark again. There's a, it's kind of washing, washing out the color. And I keep saying it every time. <laughs> the secret with watercolor is the light is in the paper. The paper is the light and it is shining through these very thin, transparent glazes of the washes that you're putting uh, on the paper. So don't just get a great glob of watercolor, and slap it on. It's not like painting. It's not like painting with oil, oil paints and acrylics. It's, 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 it's like the reverse. Um, so with, with oil paint and acrylic, the paint is, the color and the light is in the paint and you stick it down here the light is in the paper and you're putting a transparent layer over the top of the light while that's a little bit damp um, i'm i'm not going to revert to my 
uh, neutral tint color there because it's more convenient for me. I'm just going to drop um, that darker color in there, clean my brush. I'm just going to fade it towards the edge like that. And that's to um, get some sort of contour in here with sh shadow, using shadow, shade to kind of get the sort of contour and the feeling of, of sort of curves like that and 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 just shadow as well so while it's wet it's now drying a bit now but while it is wet then you can um, just sort of blend it in and get sort of smooth transitions sort of tonal transitions and like that and sort of get a bit of tiny bit of um, sort of fur effect as well. I think we need that's going to be quite dark around there. I'm cleaning the brush here, so I'm squeezing slightly. Uh, the water is in the handle and it flows down through uh, the, the, the the brush, which is again quite the opposite to how you would normally uh, use a a paintbrush. So I'm putting the tiniest little bit here of. Naples yellow in there just to kind of add a little bit of warmth to this little kind of white patches and then a little oh it's too much pink uh, so I'm going to clean the brush cleaning the brush and keep kind of washing that out because it's just too much a little bit of pink around there the, this little chin it's like a beard and I think if I'd have connected the beard right up to the top it would just become this kind of circle underneath and that is how it actually looks on oh, the koala um, but sometimes sometimes you have to kind of alter things just to make it um make it look right <laughs> even though technically it isn't now i'm going to dry this with my hair dryer and then when the paint is dry then you get a different Sort of effect. You, you you just get nice sharp edges to your brush strokes, um, and none of that sort of fading in. But then you can kind of wash things in now. So I've got a clean brush, and I'm just sort of helping to wash in these uh, tones. So because they're really. It's really all grey, so do you call that a colour? <laughs> There's a hint of blue in there, isn't there? So I suppose you could call it very... <laughs> a, a shade of blue. Uh, a, but then it's quite pastel isn't it? And that makes it then a tint. Tint? Yeah. I always get confused. As soon as I start talking about tints and shades and hues, shade, that's the secret word. Shade is, <laughs> if you remember shade, then a tint is not a shade. So shade is like dark, isn't it? So the shade you add black to the colour and then uh, a tint, in theory you add white but you don't want to do that in watercolour because it just doesn't work. The white is in the paper already. It's taking colour. If you want to make a colour lighter then you have to wash it and take the color away to let the light come through um, now let's do this nose so see I'm sorely tempted to leave a little bit like that and have it shiny but they aren't really that shiny so I'll cover that in and um, we're gonna need to get some solid um, dark black bluey grey up at the top and that comes right down to this sort of nostril bit and then it's usually a bit paler underneath so that's working okay I think we still need that a bit darker in the ears I think it's possibly too dark so again I'm gonna try and wash that out but I think we need a little bit of something going on there um, and I think we need a little bit of sort of shade underneath there. I'm going to put some shade into the tree as well on the, on the branch uh, before I paint it. So I can paint the colour over the shade on the tree and there'll be 
something like that. I think, I think this will actually be quite dark in up there, even though it's a kind of a a furry, paler tummy. And we're going to want something like that going on there. Again, I'm going to dry this. I had a really interesting uh, question from Jacqueline Animation last week. Basically saying, you know, what <laughs> what makes it an illustration <laughs> um, artwork? You know, what? So I I would think this is kind of an illustration. And so there we go. I'm just um, painting the, the branch there. So I think an illustration is trying to illustrate something. <laughs> And it isn't the style. I think you can illustrate with any kind of style. Um, and, but what it is that you're explaining or telling a story, but you're trying to illustrate a point of some sort. Uh, I need to get that little bit of ochre stain out of there. I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, so you're illustrating. <laughs> It, it's not a illustration is not a style illustration is what you're trying to do with your picture so i think an illustrator essentially is trying to tell stories or explain things so you'll get technical illustrators will be um you know like the person who does <laughs> you know you've been to ikea and you sort of get those sheets of paper which show you how to put the um <laughs> your new kitchen together or your wardrobe um that's an illustration but it, it's it's an illustration designed to help you um you know sort of it, it's explaining and i'm a children's book illustrator so basically my thing is is telling stories so if you're a, a kind of a book illustrator you're really a storyteller and and i think you know, here I'm not trying to draw, um, I'm not trying to show you how to draw exactly a, a koala. <laughs> I'm not sort of doing a, 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 hist a natural history program. I'm not telling you all the facts about koala. I'm, I'm drawing a koala that could end up in a children's book, <laughs> really. And while I'm painting it, I'm kind of sort of building a relationship with this as a character really and sort of thinking hmm, I wonder you know what the story is here so I'm always I think I always think about what's the story here when I left art college I think I've said this once or twice I I went to the Radio Times which is a TV listings program uh, uh, magazine and um, and they used to commission a lot of artwork and I really wanted you know that was the place to be seen really <laughs> and they looked at my artwork and said you know that's very nice thank you lovely we, but afraid we can't use you and i said why not and well actually i didn't i got to the door and then i thought well, hang on a minute <laughs> and that's when i said why not and they said i'll come back and they went through my folder and they kept saying look here you want to turn the page you want to know what happens and they said, you you are a, a book illustrator. Some people are kind of editorial illustrators and they just boom, do one picture and it says it all. Um, like like a, a newspaper cartoonist, bang. It's, it's a joke, it's a funny one-off. But then, you know, also in a newspaper you'll find sort of cartoon sequences, you know, with, with little stories. And... And that kind of cartoonist wants to do something different. They want to tell longer stories rather than just tell a joke. So, um, so illustration is not a style. It's it it's a it's a thing, and <laughs> and I think some people are artists and they want to change the world and they want to, um, you know. De decoration I think can be illustration as well um, so you can sort of decorate a book and make it pretty or not pretty whatever <laughs> make it ugly I suppose um, so I, th I think 
De decoration can be illustration as well, but then decoration can also be just purely for designing wallpaper or whatever. So that's that's a tricky one as well. I know. I think I'm going to just put some sky in here. So, uh, Jacqueline, I hope that kind of answers your question a bit. Maybe I'll actually sort of do a video and think about that a bit more and sort of. Um, <laughs> sort of go into that in a bit more depth so I'm just going to put a little bit of this sort of blue around like that clean my brush and then I'm just squeezing a little bit on the brush to sort of get some water coming out of it I'm making this kind of wishy-washy dippy-dabby kind of sky behind there let it dry Right now, I'm going to get some green. And see, that's too much of a bluey green. So the, the thing about watercolor is it's always about mixing. So I'm going to mix in a little bit of this kind of um, cadmium yellow. Um, and I'm going to draw these kind of little branches coming out. And I'm I'm just using the tips of the of, of the brush here, and then so it's gentle, and then it's gonna pull pull that. So I'm using the brush here. Press hard, and then let it go so like that to get a so that's kind of brush control. And press hard, and let go, and. They're quite scrappy trees, eucalyptus. Uh, for that is what the koala <laughs> eats. <laughs> and um, so you don't want to have too many bits of leaf hanging about. You can maybe do something like that. And maybe I'll just do a little bit of sort of enhancements onto some of those leaves. Probably best done while they're still wet and then it'll kind of bleed in. But um, we'll see how that goes, see how it looks. And there we go. I think I'm going to call that a day. <laughs> Thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rena Drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.